Hello friends, in this video tutorial we discuss about the HTTP session event and uh, HTTP session listener for counting the total number of logged in user and uh, the current logged in user. Let's see with practical. Here I am using the Eclipse ID and uh, simply I click on the file and then new and uh, take the dynamic web project and simply I am giving my project name as a HTTP session session listener demo and uh, then click on the next next and select the generate web.xml deployment descriptor and then click on the finish ok and uh, Simply I explore the my explore my project HTTP session listener demo one and then right click on the web content and click on the new and take a HTML file and simply I am giving my project I file name as index.html and then click on the next and then finish. My HTML file is open here and simply I taking the form tag in my body tag under body tag and simply I write here dot slash servlet one and then close it and uh, simply I write here the username and then colon and then tab input type equal text and then close it giving the name my text as a name and then close it and here I am taking input type equal submit and then value equals to submit and then close it ok look here I am taking here the form tag and uh, action as a dot slash servlet and uh, here I write the simply username and uh, taking the input type as a text and giving the name of my text as a name when the user enter any username then this value is stored into the this text box and uh, click on and in the next line I am taking the input type as a submit means I am taking a word button and the value submit displayed onto the button and uh, when we click on the this button the controls sent to the servlet one are open the servlet one ok and uh, I explore the java resources and then right click on the src and click on the new and uh, take a listener and uh, simply I am giving my listener as a listener package as a org dot com and uh, simply I am giving my class name as a my listener class name as a my listener ok and then click on the next simply I come under this section HTTP session event section and check the life cycle java x dot servlet dot http dot http session listener because I want to use the HTTP session listener ok and then click on the next and then finish ok and uh, look here this is the my class listener class name as a my listener and my listener class implements the HTTP session listener interface and uh, this is the constructor of my listener class and uh, the HTTP session listener class have two methods session created and uh, session destroyed the session created method is called when the object of the session is created or any changes into the session and uh, session value and session destroy method is called when the invalidate method of the session is called so simply I declare here the variable static int total equals to 0 and uh, static int current equals to 0 I am declaring two variables total and current ok 
there is spanning mistake c u w r e n t e n t current okay and uh, declaring two methods static int total count and uh, returning the returns the total and uh, i declaring there is spelling mistake a return okay and taking another method public static int current count and uh, a return current variable okay and then save it come in come in inside the season created method and uh, in using the increment operator total plus plus and uh, current plus plus means there is spanning mistake okay save it look here when the Session is create or session value change, then this method is called and increment the value of total and current. And uh, I write here the system dot out dot print ln, and uh, I simply write here event is fire. Total plus, and then I simply write here the total, and then I copy and paste, and uh, simply I write here the current, and uh, here current. Total log logged uh, login logged in user and uh, current logged in user. Okay, and uh, simply I write here the current minus minus and then save it. When the invalidate method is called, the current user is decremented by one. Okay, so my listener code is completed. And again, I right click on the SRC and take a servlet and giving my package name as org dot com. My class name as a servlet. One, and then click on the next. And uh, I am not changing any into the URL. And then click on the next, and then finish. Okay, this is my servlet class as a servlet one, and uh, extend the HTTP servlet. I will come inside the do get method. I am declaring here a variable string name equal request dot get parameter as a name and then terminated with semicolon. When the user enter any name into this text box with the help of get parameter we can get the value and store into the name vari variable and the name is a string variable and uh, simply i write here the print writer print writer out equal response dot get writer and then semicolon here it is showing some error so i simply import the print writer Package Java dot and then click. Okay, 
added is had gone and uh, simply I write here HTTP HTTP session session equal request dot get session and uh, I'm simply creating a session and importing the package and uh, I simply write here session dot set attribute I am calling the set attribute method and uh, simply I write here the name and uh, provide the value as a name and uh, this name is come from the index.html and the name of my the argument as a name a string name here and, uh, okay simply I write here out dot print ln method and I write here the total user plus and then I am calling my listener dot total my listener dot total count method and then copy it and then paste it and uh, I change here current user current I simply write here current logged in user and uh, here I call the total logged in user and here I am calling the current count method current count method ok and then save it ok and uh, I write here out dot print and uh, simply taking here the anchor tag that's ref equal dot slash logout and then close it anchor tag and I write here the logout ok and then save it ok look here this method display the total count logged in user and uh, this method the current count method simply display the current logged in user and with the help of this statement anchor tag I simply when click on the logout the logout servlet is called so first we need here a logout servlet so I can play, simply right click and uh, click on the new and take a servlet I simply write here rg.com and uh, then log out and then click on the new next then next and then finish ok the logout this is my class name as a logout and uh, this is extend from the HTTP servlet I directly come inside the do get method and uh, simply I press enter and here I write here HTTP session session equal a request dot get session and uh, then semicolon and here I write the false and uh, simply I import the package and uh, simply I write here the session dot invalidate 
method and uh, I simply copy this statement print writer and uh, paste here and uh, I simply write here out dot print and uh, taking here the h2 level heading and uh, close it and uh, simply I write here the you are success fully logged out thanks and then save it okay and I simply comment it I simply write here the false because I do not want to create any new session okay and uh, I one thing I need I simply explore the web content web.inf and go into the web.xml file and uh, I simply delete all these files and save it and here I am using the listener tag within the listener I am using listener class and I write here the org dot com dot my listener class and then save it and then save it okay and simply I right click on the index.html and run on server and then click on the next and uh, simply I remove it and then finish ok my index file is displayed in the browser it is taking little time here the start starting tomcat my server almost 100% and uh, I simply scroll this ok look here username and uh, simply I pass the username as a uh, ROM and click on the submit ok look here so, uh, served at HTTP session listener demo 1 total logged in user 1 and uh, current logged in user 1 you look here the event is fired and total logged in is 1 and uh, the event is fire current logged in is 1 and I simply log out it ok you are successfully logged out thanks and uh, simply I come back and I refresh it and here I am passing Ramesh I want to change my session and then click on the submit ok you look here the logged in the total logged in user 2 and the current logged in user 1 ok and I again you look here event is fire total logged in is 2 and uh, the current logged in user is 1 and I am again log out here ok thank you friends please subscribe my channel and uh, like my video Please comment on my video. Thanks for watching my video. Thanks a lot. Thank you friends.